Ingrid, me versus drunk me. Shout, hey, in every Instagram story you post, then want to unfriend yourself the next morning. That's me every day, so. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I, it's such a mood. <laughs> it is. I like, I don't even know. Social media can be so like cringe sometimes. So anytime I'm like on it and being awkward, I'm just like, that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> okay. What about speaking of Instagram? What about post your close friend's story on main me versus drunk me? That would be a drunk me. <laughs> really? Have you done that before? I think I have done that before. And the, the fact that I don't remember means I was probably intoxicated. <laughs> So. Okay, we'll drink to that. Okay, what about me versus drunk me? Pour your heart out to a stranger. That's not me either, me. <laughs> That's not so really drunk me. So are you not a big overshare? I feel like I overshare every single day. I get that out with my songwriting. Mm -hmm. My songs are oversharing. Um, but when it comes to people, I feel like I always wait. I need permission to dump. I never, because I'm always that person who listens to somebody who overshares. So I'm always just like, if they want to know something, they'll ask me. Otherwise, I'm not going to. Interesting. You know what? I could see you being the friend that your friends come to, to be like, what are your thoughts on this? Let me pour my heart out. Are you that friend? Are you like the advice friend? I am. Oh, okay. I love that. Me versus drunk me. Hype up everyone in the girl's bathroom, which is a sacred place. <laughs> That's me normally and drunk me. It's just a cheers level. <laughs> When drunk me, you are going to feel like you're Beyonce after you get out of the bath. Because I'm like all about it. I'm like, girl, that lip color, be popping. But then normal me would just be like, hey, you look really good. Like, <laughs> So you listen to their problems, then you hype them up in the bathroom. Like, that's what we need. Yes. I love it. Okay, we'll drink to that. Okay, me versus drunk me. Name drop yourself to skip the line in a bar. Never. Ever. I would be mortified. Not even drunk me would, would go that You're like, I couldn't even go. What about your friends? Are your, do your friends ever do that for you? All the time, without me knowing it too. Cause they know that if they ask me that I'd be like, no, nah, we don't have to do that. Okay, what about me versus drunk me? Text the most famous person in your phone. Drunk me. I was about to say, you have to have some good drunk text in there. <laughs> <laughs> she is so confident. Drunk me is just, <laughs> A fiery queen. She's just like, if I want this, I'm going to get it. Or if I want to talk to this person, I'm going to talk to them. Has there been any the next day where you had to send like the text of, oh, I'm sorry, I had one too many last night, like the apology text in the morning? I usually get so mortified, I don't even give any context. I just <laughs> let it, it just is. You're like, we just won't acknowledge this, either one of us. Yeah, nope, just don't say anything until we awkwardly see each other again and then don't bring it up. Just total <laughs> avoidance. Yeah. I love it. Okay, we'll drink to that. Okay, a few more for you, Ingrid. Me versus drunk me, start speaking in a different accent. I, I don't even have to be drunk, but yes. Every time I go over to London, everyone thinks I'm like making fun of them because I can't help it. Like when I hear another accent, I'm one of those people that like soaks it up and feels like I have to respond in the accent. So sober and drunk, we'll take, yeah. Sober and drunk Ingrid are very similar. Me versus drunk me, perform a song at the bar, specifically your song. Play my own, like sing my own songs at a bar? Are you kidding yep. me? Never. That would, I, I wouldn't, you couldn't even pay me to do that. Well, I guess people do pay me to do that. True. <laughs> I just couldn't, like. What about a karaoke song? Like, would you perform karaoke, me versus drunk me? Yes. Sober or drunk, both? Drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your go-to karaoke song? Dance with Somebody, Whitney Houston. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a classic. I love it because it's so hard to sing. And that's when I know, like, if I've had one too many, because then I just sound like pure trash singing Whitney Houston. <laughs> and I'm like, I love sounding bad for like a moment in my life, you know, just completely botching a song. Like, I just think it's so funny. It's amazing. Do any of your friends, when they sing karaoke, pull up your songs? They more do it to embarrass me. I feel like that's all my friends' goal is like, they know how like easily embarrassed I get when it comes to like, showcasing my own music. And so they're always just constantly trying to make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I love that. And honestly, cheers to that. Ingrid, me versus drunk me. Thank you so much for taking the time for drinking. Let's do one more cheers. Before we let you go, we already talked about the album. You're on tour. I've got to ask, we've been talking about songs. What is the most fun song to play live? The most fun song to play 
is feel like this because oh. it's a new one and we're trying it out on the road and it just it hits so hard every time we play it and it's just so it's so fun what's been your favorite show so far they're all so different but i feel like my favorite was probably in boston because i lived there for a little bit and i saw john mayer by myself at the same venue we played and that was the last time i've been there so it was cool to like be on the same stage that he was when I was out in the audience before I was even a songwriter. It was just, wow. I was starting my journey right when I saw him. So it was cool to kind of have like a, a full circle moment. I mean, being such a successful songwriter, obviously as an artist, who do you think does it really well? John Mayer is a big one. I feel like he's an amazing lyricist. Are there other people right now that are really standing out to you that you really, really love their lyrics? There's a new girl, uh, Maddie Zom. She is so good. She writes about things that are really sensitive topics and she puts it in a, such a good light and so interesting. Holly Humberstone. Yes. She's a great new artist who I'm obsessed with. Uh, you can tell that she puts a lot of time and energy into her lyrics. Yeah, and Meg the Stallion, you know. It's a different form of writing, but yeah. So I'm just like, I could never write body, yadi, 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 but it's very catchy. So I'm like, I love that. Great. Yeah, sign us up. Well, we love it. Ingrid, thank you so much again for being here. Congratulations on the new album, Good Person. And I hope you get some time to enjoy the rest of your margarita. Well, there's not much left, so it won't take me very long. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream all of Ingrid Andrus' music on iHeartCountry, including her new album, Good Person. It's out now. You do not want to miss it. Bye, guys.